To configure our first feature in the standard web portal, we just start in Web Designer. What we have to do is to turn that feature on. Therefore, we step to edit and then in our project settings. And if we just open the settings for the complete web project, we will find a lot of sections. One of them, it's uh, the general settings section. And in the general settings section, we will find enable browser notifications, which is a new parameter. And this parameter allows if it is set and you can see it is set here to send notifications if you are on your web page. This is an HTML5 feature and we support this in the meantime. For all people with Internet Explorer 11 and below, uh, it is important to know that this is not really supported. And because of that, there could be some problems. Once this is activated, we have a second option, what we as well can have a look at. And this is the polling interval for that specific notification thing. And this is what you can find here. And it's a millisecond thing. And that means all 20,000 milliseconds, the system is just polling for new messages. After we ensure the first parameter is true and the second parameter is configured, we can just step into our standard web portal. And once we are logged in in our standard web portal, the first thing here is to allow this site to send us notifications. This is then the personal security, which ensures that these notifications gets not blocked. And then the icon disappears. And from now on, I get these notifications. Attestation and auto removal. As you know, attestation is the element to approve if a permission assignment is okay or not. Typically in an attestation, some approvers have to attest that the permission set given to a specific user or a particular permission given to a specific user, it's okay or not. If not, then something could happen. And one of these things that could happen, for example, is an auto removal. Unfortunately, in the past, because the system sometimes cannot really decide which permission is to remove. Please think about that. For example, if you are a member of three roles and three roles have one permission you should better not have, but a huge set of other permissions as well assigned, the system should make a decision which of these roles should be removed or if the person should automatically directly removed out of all of these roles. At the end, this will then lead to a lot of less permissions than only the one that causes the issue. And because of that, in Identity Manager version 8.1, first time we implemented a specific feature which allows for the attester to get a warning that just informs the attester that if this gets denied, automatically this user will lose many more permissions than only the one the attester was looking at. And this will jump into that case and figure out what's to do best. Because typically for attestation is not to auto remove just permissions. Typically for an attestation is that a set of compliance specialists sit together and find a solution how this person can do in the future as well as work. But on the other hand side will lose the dangerous permission he should better not have. Another small feature of interest is the feature to request for someone or for others. We all know about it. It's in years in the identity manager. And if I step on requests and my requests and start a new one, I see as a recipient pre-configured myself in the list. In some situations, this is not really helpful, especially in situations where I as decision makers pretty often have to request for others or where the request for others is something super important. In this specific cases, it makes sense not to preset this specific value because it is too easy just to accept what stands in there and to do some selections and requests and figure later on out that it was not me that was the person who should get these items. And to solve that, there is a new configuration parameter now in Web Designer in IT Shop section. And there's now a new parameter named request locked in user in recipient, which is typically set to true. So if I like to change that, then I can just unselect that and doing so and saving the whole thing to the database and compiling the web automatically the box we saw before will not be preset anymore.
another new configuration parameter as well in the IT subsection of uh, web designer configuration parameters is that we are now able to configure a value that allows to preset the prolongation if we extend a request. As you can remember in Identity Manager, we can have limited requests so that people will lose uh, some permissions or some items they already have assigned after a specific time frame. And then it is possible to prolongate these requests in a way of that for two weeks more, this person will, for example, not leave these permissions. And in the past, uh, when, once we started with that prolongation, then the date of today was always pre-selected, which was not really se sensible, especially because a prolongation typically it's not for the next day, it is more for the next two weeks. And so we decided now to develop a new configuration parameter. You can see it here on the screen and it's pre-configured with seven days. That means the default set value in the date time box, it's seven days for a prolongation of a specific permission. Of course, that can be overwritten and you can select something completely different. But with that, uh, it's now a sensible preset value once you open that configuration box.